All right, we're back with the Rusty Bucket Bay. And I just watched a video on um, a trailer for a couple games coming out. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but if, you ought, if you're not, you ought to be. Uh, Mark Kirko, he makes banjo mods by and large. Um, he made Banjo-Kazooie and the Jiggies of Time. That was a full-on game with Banjo-Kazooie in the Legend of Zelda universe. So he's recently, that game was amazing. I, I really greatly enjoyed it, especially as somebody who played Ocarina of Time. So he recently um, just released a trailer that's going into Banjo-Kazooie uh, having a Christmas story where all of Spiral Mountain is in snow. And then uh, the second one uh, that he hinted at at the end of the, which is really exciting to me, the one that really entices me, is Banjo, uh, the Night Bear Before Christmas. <laughs> like, that sort of theming and that sort of, like, uh, what's it called? Um, what's his name? Tim Burton. That sort of, like, Tim Burton-esque feel. Yeah, so he correctly tells you that this water actually depletes your oxygen twice as fast. So, you gotta be on your game. Look at that. Yeah, you really gotta be on your game. But, not too bad once you get it. Got the Jinjo. So this level, actually getting to this level proper, I've unloaded a bunch of other things, but into this level proper, I mean, compared to everything else, I mean, I guess Clinker's Cavern is the closest in tone. Um, this is just a romping industrial level uh, in the way, in the vein of Grunky Industries. I mean, and the, the steam whistles and all of that, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's, and this level is actually one of the two, I think, legitimately difficult worlds. This and the following level, Click Clock would have some parts in it that may leave you um, slapping yourself because it's just so difficult. And you may screw up and fall or hurt yourself. And there are no fall-proof cheats. So you really have to be on your game. Really is another word that you, that people ought to not have in their vocabulary because it means nothing. It is a qualifier. It literally inhibits you from what you were saying. And I feel like so much of meditation, so much of um, life is figuring out how you want to compose yourself and be present in the world. And more often than not, it's with people and doing things that make you happy. So um, having vast, expansive vocabulary and being able to communicate effectively is really what it's all about. Um, I feel like, again, a tip of the cap to Mark Harper because I feel like he communicates what the Banjo-Kazooie fandom loves in his in his efforts on the Banjo Backpack <coughs> series. So there's, there is this program where you can actually program Banjo-Kazooie games with Banjo's Backpack. Um, I started to, I, I like downloaded it, but my computer is not, it does not have the storage. I need to actually get like a nice desktop if I wanted to start making banjo related content and games. Um, but, this is a weird one. Should I dig into this right away? Why not? I mean, shit, this is the hardest part. I might even save before I do this, because it's so hard. Yeah, I might save before I do this. So where is the one I need? I think that's it, yeah. Okay. Oh, did I? Oh yeah, you have to float in there. Don't want to hit those guys, like that's annoying. But you can do this. I think. Oh no, you definitely want to fall. The, 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 the camera change though fucks me up. Okay, I just got it. Oh my god, why did it do that? Oh, it's so annoying. Can I just jump? That'd be nice if I could just jump. Oh, okay. We got our honey call. Alright, now this is you know, the most notorious part of this level. Oh, I almost fell off right there. Jeez, I'd be much more careful. That was a little bit callous. 
I found myself mostly using Banjo in this area because Kazooie, she slides, she'll fuck you up. I forgot these guys are over here. If I fall, it's not the end of the world, but it is definitely annoying. Alright. Cool. That's just not worth it. That's like, that's like if I go around again, I'll get that. That's not worth it for this part. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wait, because I did not get that just right. No one scares me anyway, so I can let that If you don't have to use that one, don't. This room is, is just really intense. Okay, so that means I'm gonna be going back that. I might wanna actually do this one second. I'm actually gonna traverse through more of a level. This is where it gets tough. Look how fast that's going. Oh no, I think you have to turn it off. These are supposed to slow down. Alright, well. Oh, you know what? I fucked up. There's nothing, there's nothing you have to do. See this? You have to go into there first. That's how you slow down the fans. This is for another jiggy. I'll do this one now though. The other one I'll do later. The other one's much harder. This one's not as hard. Still go. Oh shit. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright, I'll have to go back down to get the other one. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about the fans. I remember. 
So I guess it's, it's really the second part that's the hard one, because you have to actually get past the moving fans. That's the hardest part. I think I will save before I get to that because it's stressful. It's a very stressful day. Oh. So we got that one. We need to put down on one. Or is it this one? Is it this one? Might be. Yep. Now the fans will slow down. Right? I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I've never done it that way where I just went directly and I always go in this room first. So, just goes to show. Let's go back down there, into the hardest part of the level. Fingers crossed we do it right. It's not fun to have to go back and rehash and do everything. I think I actually will save. <laughs> Alright. Yep, there you go. Alright, I'm gonna save. Sorry, I'm pussy, but... I did not want to have to do all that shit again. Yep. It's just annoying. In case I die, this could be a lifesaver. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see Okay, now we're ascending up the, the gears to the top. That's it. That's really it. I mean, that's all I had to do was just that one. Do I need the mobile tokens? I mean, they're there, but I've definitely not gotten them in games past. Alright, well, that's the hardest shitty. That's what, the hardest shitty in the game right there. It's not even that bad. It's just the, the like possibilities that it could fuck you. That's that's what's so bad about it. Alright, let's push the right back over. Yeah, see that that's all. Not even hard. I don't know if I'm just right. What? That was weird. I'm gonna do it, fuck it. God, that's dangerous. Okay, jeez. I mean, you can do it, but... How many moment tokens do I got? 15? Yeah, I mean, I probably do need like 30 or something like that. I need all the ones I can get. Ooh. Should I get both? Ah. Really getting risky here. No, that's not working. I got to look spray on the edge again. There we go. That's like the blue. That's what I'm slow. Jeez. Whew. Alright, we got that. That feels good. This engine room is completely cleared out. I probably could have went, but I'm gonna wait. <sighs> well, that's the hardest part of the level. I don't think we'll have any trouble with the rest of it. 
It, it, it is. Like, I think that's the first time I've ever done it without any error. That felt good. Precise platforming. That's all it is. And really, I mean, it's just getting past that one fan. It's not that hard. And honestly, not getting, um, not, not clipping that honeydew at the bottom. Because then that will cause you even more stress. Alright, so let's... I don't think I'll go up there, but I think there's... Oh. So this is how you know the code right here. There's a code up the front. 312111. Alright, good to remember that. I could do this section. Oh wait, I'll go, I'll go up this boat a little bit. 312111. And I don't know about you guys, but I love being out in the ocean. Um, it's like, I feel at home. I feel like that's where I'm supposed to be. I feel like that's where we go when we pass, really, in a way. Um, we do go to this ocean. Uh, for a burial. Even if you literally are buried there, or you're figuratively, like, I think that's where we always go. Alright, yeah, we did this room. That's right. Making short work at this level, actually, now that I think about it. Nothing up there. Is that one good? Yeah, we haven't been able to smack through any of these yet. So that's good to know, like, future playthroughs, there's like really one, I think, on the back half. That's it. Not many. Alright, well, we'll go up here. Heck, this isn't one. Yeah, what am I doing? 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. Remember that? Okay. Alright, I think there's some down here though. Hold on. And these guys, these life preservers. I don't want to go up there just yet. Actually, you know what? I will go up there. All these verses are right here, so I might as well do it. Three. Woo! One. Two. One. 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 Well, thank you. They kind of look like the Krizoa spirit heads a little bit, but obviously they're not. They're just steam uh, emit emitters. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we could go up that ladder. We did that. Hold on, hold on. Don't miss shit. Yeah, you can go that way, or you can go up there. Yeah. Either way works. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm descending, brother. That was late, dude. That was late. I, that was a little unnerving. Yeah, all our mumbos. Okay. Let's see what's around this corner. Not on the other side. The jiggy up here? Yeah, almost all the levels have this just go to the obligatory, go to the top of the level jiggy. But hey, it's, it is uh, an effective one. It, it is a way to like introduce the level in a cool way, and then you look out and you see everything. Matter of fact, let's do that. That's the point. Why not? So we can go over here to this precipice and check down. So it looks like we have a, a couple of a lifeboat. Oh, a toxic sludge. Ooh, something interesting up there. Oh, what's that? And then, yeah, just buy on sludge wherever you look. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go back down. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is one. Yeah. There we go. Maybe we can get into a few of these. Alright, don't need that. These guys are pretty easy. Alright. Little grumblings though. I like I like their new outfits, their sailor outfits, they're cute. You got uh, all this. 
sailor and the wheels. And, oh, there's the rusty bucket at the at the at the sea. At sea. Leave that there. You never know. It could be a part of this level that really doesn't toll on me. Okay. This guy's a fucker, isn't he? No. All right, go right in there. There's half the pipes are fuckers. And half the pipes are uh, genuine. Take you somewhere. I'm gonna get that, that's for sure. Time to burn! Yeah, but... I know I could have done use the uh, invincibility, but... Fuck it. I do need these. No, god damn it. Alright, well, whatever. Got what we needed. Okay. I think that's the asshole. By default. No, I get no, I don't want any. So we have the map laid out. That's the way you gotta do it. Alright. Usually the mumbo tokens are oriented out of camera, but that one of course was not. This is the control center. Ship. Now we can start moving around to the extremities and whatnot. So, um, okay, so there's a jiggy here. Oh, I gotta get that. Gotta get that. Right on the bow. There really aren't too many transformations when I think about it. I mean, it's only uh, click clock wood, the next level has one. Um, and it's one season, which is, ugh, but whatever, it makes sense. Um, and then Gobi's, no, not even Gobi's guy, Freezy Z Peak, and uh, My Monster Mansion. And then um, Mumbo's Mountain, that's it. Mumbo's Mountain, there's a three, no, Mumbo, and then, then uh, uh, Bubble, Bubble Boot Swamp, so. Bumbo's Mountain, Bubble Boot Swamp, Freeze Easy Peak. Oh, I gotta get that right back up there, don't I? Oh shit. That's right. I think I blew it. So those are the few. I think I blew it. Okay, so yeah, Rumble's Mountain, uh, Bubble Loop Swamp, Freeze Easy Peak, Mad Monster Mansion, and um, the Clockwood. So one, four, five, seven, nine. Yeah. Only five levels, only five transformations. Compared with Tui, which is, I think every level has one, yeah. So I definitely approve. Uh, Transformations are way better in Banjo Tooie. There's not even a question. <laughs> They're just above and beyond. They can actually do things. In this game, like half of them literally just jump. So there you go. He, he blends in with the green. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's a little dangerous. Okay. 
Okay. I can go around. Takes uh, is that is that leading anymore? No, I don't think so. There's one there, for sure. And is there one? Oh, we'll find it. Okay, so we got the... Oh, I forgot to do that. Well, not a huge deal. I can go in there. I like going to the top first. Because you have to. Hmm. All right, we're carousing along. These grilled chompas are littered everywhere. So here we have like what is ostensibly a warehouse dedicated to stocking the uh, rusty bucket. Oh, I got him. Come on. Damn, he does two, too. There we go. Alright, well, I gotta be careful now. That was some bullshit. Quite frankly. Okay. I do want to unlock everything, so I do want to make this bridge happen. So this is actually my little idiosyncrasies. It's not a speed run, of course. Let's get that. You can't. Can you fly in this level? No, you can't. What you can do is you can like. Ooh. Okay, no, you can't. What the fuck? How do you get that? Because if you jump in the boat, like that doesn't really work. How do you get that? Beats me. Alright, well, let's continue along. Is that? Oh, there is a hole there. Yeah, let's go in there. We've got to watch out for snacks. No, wrong. Why would you go that way? Oh, snacker was right on my ass. I'm about to eat my butt cheeks. Yeah, here's the actual flight pad. The only flight pad in the level, I'm pretty sure. And you just use it to get. Um, what? Isn't there a. Oh, of course there is. There you go. We got both the honeycomb pieces. I don't think there's any notes in here. It's just grilled trumpets. Yeah, there's some gold feathers. Uh, we don't need any. I'll tell you what we do need. We do need to get that gold feather power up. Perfect. Alright, so we're looking really good right now. This might be the breeziest trip I've had through the, the, the rusty bucket. I think it's right here, isn't it? What the fuck, is it right there? Oh, no, no. I don't need that shit. You're out, you're out in Chopper's land. There, I'm lit layer, so I gotta be careful. Get the fuck out. Oh no, 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 no. 
Wow. I like it, Ed. I'm, I'm gonna save you. I'm trapped. Help! Get the thing off, snorkel. Alright, snorkel. I'm coming for you. It's actually pretty gruesome because you. Well, you'll see. Snorkel, don't worry, I got you. I'm your buddy, I'm your pal. You got trust. Oh, you f of course you did. zombie dolphin you're looking at. That's your mouth! I don't know what you're doing in the rusty bucket base, Norval. You're a fucking retard. Why would you go down this way? You don't have any of your pod with you. What are you thinking? These are murky, industrial infested waters. And if you only knew, Snorkel, if you only knew whose, whose ship this was, you would not be anywhere near it. Snorkel, you are just an absolute fool. thing is these stay off. See, stay, those stay gone. Alright, a little bit tight here. We're all good. Is that same thing before? Rusty bucket. Put on the bow. Got our Jinjo. Get in. We already got in this thing. Uh, so let's just continue along here. Did this. Did it, we do? We did it. This is an interesting little mechanic there. They want you to pay eggs to get around this place. Let's go in these storage containers. See what's in here. Hold on. I want to get my bearings. Definitely don't want to mess with those guys. It's just asking for trouble. Like giant those tooed slugs. Look at them. Ew, the tooed slug. Wait, do I need help? No. Leave your health. Okay, is that it? Is we only eight in here? I think so. Yep. So you got all our honeycombs, so we're just looking for jiggies and notes. Well, obviously, Jinjo is close hand in hand with Jinjo. Oh, well, we got eggs. We can take those. That's nice. A couple back here, too. Alright. 
Um, these TNT boxes uh, are a precursor to the boss, I guess. It's going to be called the boss of this level. Oh, I got get wrecked. Oh, you can't. That's right. You get the extra life <laughs> by enduring their attacks. Okay. Uh, 93. I'm almost done with the note collection. Okay. And there's one above. Yeah. So you can get into all three. Oh, this one's interesting. Hold on. I don't think there's a jiggy here. I think it's just the ginger. Yeah. I was two. Uh oh. Won't run. Toughest leap in the game right here. You don't want to do it from here. You want to go from like the middle point, but I'm gonna do this first. I don't think this is time. I think you just drop it. Yeah. 
Alright, well, let's pay our turns. Okay, where's the yellow one? Did I really not remember where the yellow one? Uh, actually, uh, I don't remember the yellow drum drill is. Yellow drum drill. Mm. I mean, it could be on the boat, I just didn't. Just because it's satisfying. <laughs> Just because it's satisfying, I don't want to do the eggs. I'll take the eggs, I think. No, I need tons of golden feathers. Especially going into good pocket, but that might have been a stupid thing to do. But hey, they're around. Um, where is that yellow ginger? There's the one around the outside, there's the one in the blue, so what I mean, like, I found a lot of good ones. Purple one outside. Um, I genuinely do not remember. Alright, let's get this witch switch and then that's the last thing we need. Oh, and the notes. So maybe I'm missing a spot too. Okay, well, could very well be that thing. It's dangerous now. Alright. This is... That doesn't work. I just want to try it. And this is definitely one of the hard jiggies because you need the momentum, you need the, the roll, and you need the perfect jump. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous. What the fuck? Why is it doing that? God damn. Oh. oh, I missed it. Oh, see, this gets hard. Damn I. What? Why did you miss that time? Uh, okay. I don't think he was down in the engine room. But I don't think so. I think there's a door I'm missing. What? Okay, so that's just like, you're not getting there. Oh, I'm gonna be faster to just go across. Fuck myself with this. 
It's way smarter to hold off on the boom box boss because then you can just jump on that box each time. Yeah, see, that's just annoying. That's really hard. Alright, well, maybe I can make it over here. There's a chance, right? Well. Ah, this is annoying. There's a mumbo token. Okay, hold on. Nothing under there. It wasn't in there. Nothing's under the boat. You already got that one. something I'm missing with the yellow ginger. But I got all the notes, that feels good. One part is finished. So I just missed him on the outside. I thought he was on the outside. Wow, that was sad. It's okay. It's okay. I don't need to go on the rest of the park. I need to go over here. I'm gonna get that jump. Otherwise, I'm just gonna exit the world because I can't get it. I'm gonna put the box on him instead. It'll be easier. Alright, right here. Did I just miss it because I draw distance? Yeah, just draw distance. Draw distance will fuck you. Alright, there's Snacker, you got me. Alright, yeah, let's just draw distance. So much of this game, like, you find yourself screwed because of draw distance. I was in this vicinity, and then, like, had this been 2E, the draw distance wouldn't be so bad. 
I would have easily found it. Alright, so we'll get a one last tug and pull. Um, and if we can't do it, then we're going to go out of the level because it will reset the box, which will be necessary for me to do repeat tries. Come on, man. So this is a, the, the tedium of this level. Like, the only way to get up really is to get over here. So it can be kind of annoying. Then how do you get over there? There's no flight pad. Are you kidding me? Sick. You can go in the rusty bucket and get that last mumbo token, that's for sure. But I've, been doing, I've been doing pretty well with those. Kara! Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. We missed that jump. We won't, we won't miss the jump. We're gonna get it perfect. We're gonna get that jump perfect. Don't wanna fall at this point. That's just too much progress. Oh, there's one right there. God damn it. Wow. Oh, that's not too bad then. Yeah, I can redo this. I don't need to exit the level. This little thing's a little bit tedious to me, but yeah, not too bad. Alright. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're almost all set with the level. Okay, we got this. We got this. We need that. Alright. See, you go, I think you go like right. That's a little far. I think you go like right here. That's the way. Yep. Told you we get it. Okay, so now all I need to do is get that mumbo token. This other one's impossible. Or improbable, I should say. I think we already have enough to get the next power up, but it might be 30, so at the very least we need our time easier. I think we're done with this level, let's just make sure. Yeah, baby! I knew it. So now, um, yeah, let's make our way over to Click Clock Wood. Holy moly, we're almost at the end of this stream. This has flown by. Andrew Kazooie is quite a breeze of a game, really, when it breaks down. And if you're able to do Rusty Bucket Bay um, in a seamless fashion, like I was for the most part, um, then it really um, takes down on the, on the, on the um, annoyance. As long as you can make those those, those jumps in the, in the uh, engine room, you should be all set. Okay, so now we're going back. Going back. Getting out of here. Usually the rooms that you came from don't have an ominous, beastie face on it. That's how you know you came from them. The rooms you're going into have that ominous, beastie face. It's only one more jiggy in, the, in this area. We are ascending the layer. I think this one's time.
clock was up there. We can't get in quite yet. Um. There is a nice uh, warp, cauldron warp. Well, that's from early on, if I remember correctly. I like Linger's Cavern. It's like we're set in spring right now. I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, I can get up there from different angle. There probably is like a mumbo token in that corner. Why wouldn't they put it there? Oh, I guess not. That's to the Tower of Tragedy, or like the, the final portion of the game, so I don't want to go there just quite yet. But I will go forward over here. The Fiery Furnace Fun, I think is what, that's what it's called. There it is. So if you remember over by Tetro Cove, there was that place, this Click Clock Wood. Now we can actually get in. Alright, well. Could take that red cauldron down, but I do want to do something else here. And I think. If we do this and then jump over to the next room, there's something we can get. Um, okay. Alright, then we're gonna go down to the beginning of the lair, open up the level proper, come back, buy the red cauldron, of course. That's obviously the way out. Oh shit. We're trying to go forward. Got something in this room with the third level. Somehow our layer only fills this direction, doesn't fill the other direction, but what are we gonna call that video game logic? Yeah, see that up there? Oh no. It's up here. Cheeto? Yeah! So now we're making our way back. We can go to Treasure Trove Cove. That's right. A trader book has pushed us back, so in the burning fire, I'll check. Oh, and Cheeto, which room? Oh, you must enter on the sand castle floor. Little feathers. We got all our Cheetos. Okay. Alright, well, you, you limber up with beautiful eyes and. Maybe? Why wouldn't it? Oh! It's translucent too, it's more like ice. Okay. Let's go back then. So we'll use the red one on the way back. Purple on the way back. <laughs> Meet you know, up with our friend Leaky again for the final time. And then. Off to the Actually, might as well do that now because it's right through here. We'll do the clockwood first. 
uh, try to show Cove on the way, get on back over there, and then we'll call it a stream once we get to Click Clock Wood. Yes. Hi, Red Tova. So this is a fantastical level to... Fantastical set piece to finish the game. I'm so happy they decided to go all out for the final level. It's such a gift. And by far and away my favorite level of this game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the, mo the Mad Monster Mansions, I love the Freeze Easy Peaks. Um, I love Treasure Trove Cove, and I among others. I mean, I love Level Group Swamp, I love them, but at some point, you have to pick up, I mean, there is a favorite, and it's clearly Click Clockwood. Clearly. It's four levels within one, you get to see the seasons change. It's just beautiful, it's my favorite. It's like everything you can imagine. It's just amazing. It's one of my, it, it might be my favorite rare level, period. It's right up there. It's oozing with charm. Some people like to think it's tedious, it's like going over the same level four times, but no, there's different environmental factors. I don't know why I got that. Um, and it's a completely different level. You, you have snowy slopes versus the, the, the versus summer where like it's all golden and um, the leaves are starting to get brittle. I mean, it's just it's crazy. And then you have fall where the leaves are brittle and spring where they're just budding again. I mean, it's it's interesting. Actually, summer's when they're in full bloom. Spring is when they're just budding. You start in spring. You work your way up through the seasons. Alright, so let's get our cheat and then head up there. So I'm obviously quite excited for uh, the clock wood. Alright. Gotta get rid of this dude. Might be fun to do a run in this game where you don't kill any enemies. It'd be hard. But you don't need to kill enemies, so. I would add another level of difficulty to it. I think I can do it. Alright. So. I am curious as to see, like, what are, I mean, what are your guys' favorite levels in this game? Uh, I've obviously shared my opinion. And, um, I'm sure there are other kooky ones out there that like Rusty Bucket Bay. But, hey, wasn't that perfect timing? I just abused all those golden feathers against Boombox, but then I got the cheat, which brought me right back up to 20. For the level that you definitely need the gold feathers. Because of all the snare bears. Oh, you'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, let's go back. Alright, ah. let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. Yep. Yeah. I think that I gotta go through here. Yep. Okay. Excuse me, good sir. Brown, I guess. Yeah, it's more of a brownish red. Deep auburn orange. I'll take that. Even though I don't need it. Ah, is there anything about on the outside? Probably a gold feather. No? Okay. Surprising enough. Alright, well, see you next stream for perhaps Rare's most, cl uh, Rare's classic level. For Rare's classic level.